I've got a no-bake chocolate truffle recipe that's totally decadent, totally guilt-free because it's made with really good ingredients. And actually, you might have all of the ingredients right now, and if you don't, they're super easy to find. And you heard that right, I said no bake, so that means you don't even have to turn on your oven, yay! You're saving energy and time. So whenever I make raw cookies or balls or truffles or dressings or sauces or pestos or soups, I use my KitchenAid food processor. And in my first two cookbooks, I have a whole section where I talk about kitchen essentials and guess what I talk about? I talk about the versatility of a food processor. And I also, you might have seen in the background, I also have a KitchenAid stand-up mixer. I've had that for well over a decade and it's also an absolute kitchen essential. So thank you so much to KitchenAid for sponsoring this video. And also guys, it's their 100th anniversary. So happy anniversary! So let's get started and make this recipe. I have already soaked my dates in some water and I de-pitted them. That's an important step to soak them. Don't skip that because you want them to get like nice and moist. Okay, so that's the first ingredient that we're gonna add to the food processor. Now, I just have to remove this part of the blade here, but I like, I live in a small condo, guys, and storage, good storage is everything, so I like that ac actually everything like fits inside here. So all I'm gonna do is dump in my dates, and the nice thing about making a recipe that's totally raw is that if you find as you're making it the truffles are too dry or too wet, you can totally troubleshoot. It's really, really easy. So we're just gonna put all our ingredients in here. The dates give it a nice natural sweetness. They're also a great source of fiber, so great for digestion. We're gonna add some pecans. Pecans or walnuts will work, so if you don't have pecans, go for the walnuts. So just sprinkle them in. I've also got some cinnamon. Oh, it smells so good. Cinnamon is great for blood sugar balance. Um, but you know what? You don't need to worry so much about that with this recipe because we're not using any refined sugar. And I've got some raw cacao powder. Raw cacao powder is just cocoa in its more raw form. So raw cacao is fermented, whereas cocoa is roasted. So we're just gonna pour this in as well. Everything just goes, pops it into your food processor. Then I'm going to use some almond flour, otherwise known as ground almonds. Again, lots of good fat, and you're also getting some protein with this too, which is awesome. So, I mean, this is technically a dessert, but it could be a power snack too. Then I'm going to put in a little bit of vanilla, because I just love, I, with all these ingredients, vanilla is just such like a nice flavor. Now, if you're not used to the flavor of raw cacao, it can be a little bit more bitter. So this is optional. If you wanna put in a little bit of real maple syrup, I like to use dark, you can, but you definitely don't have to. So let's just use half of this, and then we'll give it a little taste test. Now, the lid goes on so easy, just snaps right on. And basically you're going to process it. Oops, I spilled a little bit of my raw cacao there. That's okay, I'll just like lick it off. Um, but yeah, you're just gonna process it until it gets starts to get smooth. Okay, so let's just give it a little check to see how it's doing. Okay, I think this texture's good, yes. So this is, this is what's ideal. You want it to be able, see how everything's sticking together nicely? That is almost processed. I just wanna make the pecans just a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna process it for like 10 more seconds. Okay, it's time to make our truffles. Did you see that? Do you see how easy it is to take on and off? So I love with this food processor that you don't get like all of the truffle ingredients stuck around the bottom of the blade, um, which is really, really nice like when you're trying to clean as well. So I've got my coconut shreds. I've used unsweetened coconut shreds here. Also no sulfates, so no preservatives. And you'll see that written on the package when you're looking for preservative free. And I've got my raw cacao powder. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm, oh, I'm gonna take my rings off because I don't wanna get truffle ingredients all in my rings, even though that might be tasty. So I'm just gonna take little spoonfuls of the truffles and I'm gonna roll them. Whenever I make raw balls, I like perfect, spheres <laughs> are like perfect little balls okay so just like that so now you're gonna roll it and it sticks really nicely because the medjool dates are nice and sticky they're kind of like glue right so you just roll it and like that so I'm gonna alternate kind of back and forth between my coconut shreds and my raw cacao until I'm all done and what like a nice like hostess gift too you know you can make these for yourself or you can make these if you're going to someone's house 
It's a nice housewarming gift, a nice hostess gift. It's just like so pretty. And it's ideal if you store these in the fridge just because the ingredients, right? So store them in the fridge um, for probably like up to like 10 days or in the freezer, they're gonna last like for months. So I've rolled all of my balls and now I'm just gonna like toss this and the lid in the dishwasher. How easy is that? These truffles are so easy to make. They're so easy to eat. They'll be gone by the end of the week. Did you see that? I'm a poet. <laughs> so this recipe will be in the description box and also a link to the KitchenAid food processor because you gotta check it out. I hope you guys love this recipe as much as I do and my family does. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment, question. I love talking to you guys. And of course, have a joyous day. Bye.